Every year, the UK throws out an enormous 434 million tons of rubbish. From plastic wrapping to newspapers and even garden waste, it all has to go somewhere, and the first port of call isn't the dump or the rubbish truck, it's a wheelie bin. This modern replacement for the old dustbin is a colourful upgrade to the rubbish removal system. A key feature to its design is its compatibility with the rubbish truck's lifting mechanism. Previously, bins were made out of metal. This was ideal for storing all the different rubbish that people would throw out, including hot ashes from home fires and cookers. However, with central heating, electric cookers and fewer homes with fireplaces, modern bins don't need to be as heat resistant. They do, however, need to be robust. Production of a modern rugged wheelie bin starts out at a factory like this one. These containers are filled with the raw material that's used to make the bins, granulated plastic. Vacuum hoses suck the plastic into the molding machine where it's superheated to melting point. At 260 degrees Celsius, it's turned into liquid and can be molded into the shape of the new bin in just 60 seconds. About one million wheelie bins are made in the UK every year using this technique. The injection molding takes place inside this enormous machine, and each new unit emerges from the other side. This hot jet of molten plastic is what fills each mold to become a new bin. In order to help with recycling, some European manufacturers colour code their bins. This is done by adding coloured granulates to the basic mixture. However, it's a gradual process. Output is carefully monitored. Bins that are not the right colour will have to be rejected. It takes a few attempts before the coloured granules combine properly in the mix to create the exact shade required. The first new units to emerge take on progressively darker shades until the right colour is finally produced. The rejected bins are recycled. They're ground down to be reused at a later date. Once the bins have sufficiently cooled, they can receive the accessories that give them their nickname. Two solid wheels are fitted on a metal axle to help make them more manoeuvrable. A handy lid is also fitted and an efficient design means it only takes two taps with a hammer to seal it firmly into place. The lid keeps the smell in and the foxes out. Wheelie bins were first built in Germany in the 1970s, but they didn't make it over to the UK until the 80s. One useful feature of this modern design is this handy lifting system. It means bin men no longer need to lift heavy, smelly bins by hand. Wheelie bins come in all shapes and sizes, but whether we should recycle more or just make less rubbish, the millions of wheelie bins throughout Britain will continue to help us shift that waste.